Hi, this is Mary from Cafe de Roma ID. I'm going to show you some recipes today for my kitchen. Come on in. Hi, this is Mary, Cafe de Roma ID. In my restaurant, today I'm going to show you chicken piccata. Follow me. First, you start with chicken tenders, chicken tenderloins. So when you rinse them, you pat them dry. If there's a membrane, you can peel it off or cut it off. But this is how we did our chicken. Not too much. Okay. You don't have to smash them that thin. I did so it would cook quicker. Remember, I'm showing easy, quick ways to enjoy cooking. and make it a joy, not a job. Here's the chicken. You're gonna wash your hands in, in soapy, bleached water. Then you take the chicken over. Okay, ready to come over here. Okay, here we go. Turn it on, high flame, big pan. Two scoops of oil. We're talking about two ounces of olive oil. Let it get hot. You have your flour, uh, chicken. And like I said, in all the classes, you always have the four aromatics already made ahead of time, already in your refrigerator. Chopped garlic, chopped basil and garlic and oil, chopped onions, chopped parsley. Always have tomatoes on hand. And the other thing is broth. Okay, this is lemon juice, and these are capers because we're, we're making the uh, piccata today. Let this get out. Always have boiling hot water, salted hot water, because we're going to do pasta with it too. But just see how long it takes from when I start to how, how long you can have a, a meal on the table when you get home. Oil's hot. Place it. Don't crowd it too much. You want them to each have their own surface space. Okay. On a high flame, wash your hands again and bleach. Water, very important. Come back. Always have a bleach rag on hand. This is cooking. Three or four minutes on either side. In the meantime, I'm going to Squeeze a lemon, which I already did here. And here's the big secret. Get one of these. I don't even know what they're called. But it grates the lemon peel. This is where the flavor from the piccata comes from. And it's actually, I don't put butter in any of my dishes, very few. And this, but this thing kind of takes the place of it and the broth. You see that in here? You can't even put any more here. It's a zester. That's what it is, a zester. Cut the lemon in half, put your hand over it, and get the lemon out of it. Get the lemon juice out of it. Turn it over. Everything's always on a high flame. For me, like this. Salt. Where do I go fast? It makes cooking time shorter. Makes it more pleasurable. Just keep letting it brown slower. While this is working, I don't have a sauce for my pasta. Pasta's already parboiled, took it out of the refrigerator. So I think I'll make a one minute sauce. Okay, here again, a little bit of olive oil. Well, this is cooking, watch how fast. And this again is the aglio e aglio sauce, from which we got our penny palumbo and our spaghetti amore. It's the basic garlic and oil sauce that you can improvise and, and make so many different pasta sauces with. This is getting brown. I'm going to load it just a little bit because I want the chicken to cook through. 
Then they throw a little bit of onion, a little bit of garlic, not too much, olive oil, garlic of the oil. And this is really starting to cook. This is almost ready. This is also, you can watch two pans at one time. This is also ready. Watch. Garlic. Salt. Pepper. Garlic and oil sauce. So here's the big secret. Throw broth in it. If you don't throw broth, you have oil and garlic and kind of a dry sauce. The big secret is to throw broth in it. I'm going to put tomatoes in it too because i got a bunch of tomatoes. Tomato juice. See how this is cooking here? And this sauce is ready. Okay. Come back here. This is ready for the juice. There's no wine in there. What is this? There's papers. Handful of papers. The lemon juice. And here's the secret again, broth. What is this? This is chicken piccata. Some people like to put a little butter in this, or you can put a little bit of cream to make it a creamier sauce. I just leave it the way it is. You want to have more juice? Add more butter. Or water. How does it taste? Good. The way it tastes on here is the way it's going to taste when you eat it. Again, parsley. This is chicken piccata. But we made this sauce for pasta because we have a whole dinner that we're planning for tonight. Like I said, parboiled spaghetti from your refrigerator in salted boiling water. Done, let it drain. Come back to the garlic and oil sauce and spiff it up with a little bit more garlic, oil, basil, in garlic and oil, and parsley. See how this is drying up? Add more water or broth. This can be made ahead of time, you can make it the day before, you can make it three or four days before. And then when you're ready, just uh, heat it up. Is this a beautiful meal? Watch. Here's your sauce. Watch. How long did it take? Did you enjoy doing it? Bless you. Ciao.